Unveiling D-Day, the operation that changed the tide of World War II. D-Day, the Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, was a pivotal moment in World War II. It marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. D-Day, short for Day of Days, was crucial in establishing a Western Front. This massive military operation was essential for liberating occupied Europe from Nazi control. The code name Operation Overlord was chosen for the Normandy invasion. This code name reflected the immense scale and ambition of the operation, which required meticulous planning and coordination. Planning for D-Day involved extensive strategy and logistics. Allied forces conducted numerous rehearsals and gathered intelligence to ensure the success of this monumental assault on Nazi-occupied France. The invasion saw participation from multiple Allied nations, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Free French forces. This coalition was vital for the operation's success. D-Day commenced on June 6, 1944, at dawn, marking a pivotal moment in the war. The operation began at approximately 6.30 a.m., with Allied forces storming the beaches of Normandy. The Normandy coastline featured five crucial landing zones, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. Each beach was assigned to specific Allied forces, setting the stage for a massive coordinated assault. Airborne operations were critical to D-Day's success. Paratroopers and glider units were deployed behind enemy lines to disrupt German defenses, secure key positions, and support the beach landings. Intense naval bombardments preceded the amphibious assaults. Warships pounded German fortifications along the coast, aiming to weaken defenses and clear paths for the advancing infantry and armored units. The amphibious landings were a logistical marvel. Thousands of troops, vehicles, and equipment surged onto the beaches under heavy fire, braving obstacles and fierce German resistance to establish a crucial foothold in Europe. The German defenses on D-Day were formidable, featuring extensive fortifications, minefields, and strategically positioned artillery. These defenses posed significant challenges to the Allied forces as they stormed the beaches of Normandy. Key military figures played crucial roles in the success of D-Day. Eisenhower, Montgomery, and other leaders provided strategic vision and direction, inspiring their troops to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles and secure victory. Technological innovations were pivotal to the D-Day invasion. Advanced amphibious vehicles, specialized landing crafts, and cutting-edge communication tools enabled the Allies to effectively coordinate their efforts and breach the heavily fortified German positions. D-Day marked a critical turning point in World War II, shifting the momentum in favor of the Allies. This successful invasion paved the way for further advances into occupied Europe, ultimately leading to the downfall of Nazi Germany. The human cost of D-Day was immense. Thousands of soldiers lost their lives, and many more were wounded. Their bravery and sacrifice were instrumental in the eventual liberation of Europe from tyranny. The liberation of France following D-Day was a monumental achievement that marked the beginning of the end for Nazi occupation in Western Europe. It brought hope and rejuvenation to the oppressed French populace. Immediate consequences post-invasion included the rapid advancement of Allied forces through France, leading to the liberation of Paris. The successful invasion bolstered Allied morale and strategically weakened German positions. D-Day's long-term effects on World War II were profound, paving the way for the eventual defeat of Nazi Germany. It established a crucial Western Front, diverting German resources and hastening the war's end. From all of us here at Info Ignition Daily, our condolences go out to the many families impacted by this war and thank those for their sacrifice.